Welcome back to Try Hard Tuesdays, and I'm just going to be straight up with you. I lost my last matchup, and hitting has not been very good for me recently. Since then, I've been playing a lot of Conquest and many seasons on Rookie, and I think it's actually kind of hindering my abilities now that I'm going back to, like, All-Star and above. I'm going into this game fully knowing that uh, my hitting is not where it normally is or should be, but uh, I do want to try and get into ranked a bit more. It's been a while since I've actually played some ranked play. I've been grinding a lot for some Future Stars cards, which as you can see here, I do have a few players, including Gunnar Henderson at second base, Austin Martin at third base, uh, just some holes that I needed to fill. I really felt like having a power bat at second base, especially with his fielding ability and a bit of speed, is really going to help. And then Austin Martin uh, just wanted a, a third baseman. We've tried a few guys. We've tried Arenado, Machado, like... They've been decent, but they haven't been great, and I've been seeing some good things about other users with uh, the Austin Martin card, so uh, we can move them around if necessary, just a, a good contact hitter, uh, decent fielding and speed over there. We also have Khalil Watson, who I kind of think is like Jazz Chisholm 2.0, a lot of contact and power, just really good even splits across the board, but I did okay with Jazz Chisholm, and I know Watson probably has a different swing, but just going to have him as an option. We just needed a lot of uh, infielders, especially, to plug some holes. Rotation's looking good for now. I mean, obviously, I'll probably get uh, Bobby whenever I'm able to get to that point in the face of the franchise series. We also did just unlock uh, Josh Hader, so I'm going to actually put him over Chapman for now. We got Holmes and Helsley from the uh, program as well. Or the the May program that is. We also have Dansby Swanson, who I don't have on the bench right now. I've been doing really well with this Jorge Polanco card, and he is our infielder along with Watson. So yeah, uh, there's the lineup, and we're gonna go ahead and try and push back past the 400 mark. We're at 411, I think, right now. And we did get the home field. I've had some good success rate with getting Capital Field as the uh, the home squad here. So we've got Mullins leading off. Let's see how much we can get him to swing and miss before discipline starts to kick in. There's the curveball check swing, but it's already too late. Strike out on three pitches. DeGrom's also one of our best hitting pitchers that was available at the moment, which is the other thing I kind of need right now. That slider was supposed to be on the outside part of the plate. Clips the top inside corner. Now he has Cycle Jorge Polanco card, who is really cheap and a very good budget card for those of you who uh, are looking for some good infielders. Polanco has some low contact, but like with his, that one's right by Henderson, okay. To finish my thought on Polanco, like he has kind of low power and a little bit lower contact, but like he hits really good for his stats. Like he hits a lot of home runs and doubles that are sharp for only having about like 80 power. Fastball down the middle, Buxton is going to get there with his speed, but we live to see another day. Now let's go hit, let's get, let's get some hits in. Justice into right field. Is by far one of my best hitters. Seeger's also done very well for me over at shortstop, so even though he's a bit lower than some of the guys I just picked up, um, I moved him up in my lineup. Oh, wow, that backdoor slider was perfect. I have been making him work, though, after a few swings and misses to start off the game. I've already worked him up to 22 pitches with Stroman, and now Judge. Rizzo has not hit a home run for me in rank play, but I've been doing a little bit better with him in Conquest, which anybody would. Just, uh, I've been hitting more home runs with him recently. For a while, I was only hitting singles with this card. That one has some eyes. Probably shouldn't have made it past Chisholm, but... There's, no, that's Polanco over there at short. First at bat with Gunnar Henderson. Got some pop in the seven hole, then followed by Austin Martin at third base. So we have some future of the franchise guys in the bottom half of our lineup. There we go, Gunnar Henderson. No, that's not going to be out of here, I don't think. Just barely missed that one. Austin Martin with a bit more contact than Henderson. We can just like slap one the other way, maybe. Tried to go the other way. That's gonna stay in the ballpark. Okay. Now DeGrom to maybe end the inning, and then we'll get back to the top of our lineup in the third, but you never know. Maybe he'll surprise us with a little bit of offense of his own. Does have some power in the pitcher spot. Just underneath it. How in the world, dude? Went the other way with the fastball on the black. Jeez. All right, so uh, he did get one run on the home run. That's just kind of how rank goes. Where I am right now in the division, 
pretty much everything's like a strikeout or a home run, it seems like. We had a couple singles to start off the start of the game. But this is more true to form. Late on the sinker. God, I'm like so frustrated right now by my lack of hitting ability. Just everything is not working. Are you serious? I hit him in the big toe? Oh, he thought it was down. Get him at first. All right. It's the perks of having a couple diamond fielders out there, I guess. That's through the hole. There we go. Oh, we dove for it with the wrong fielder. Lead off double for Gary. Probably should have just been a single. That one's through. Man, he's just having a tough time with that right fielder. That'll tie the ball game. Another double that probably should have been a single. Is that going to fall? No, his right fielder can finally make a play over there. Anderson nearly went yard last time. That's going to be up the middle and should score the run. Perfect. All right, we took the lead. We're starting to get a few more hits. All right, that'll save the runner from first, but regardless, DeGrom is going to be probably the last stop of the fourth. Oh! Wow, we were early on that. That was a good rip. Okay, so we got a few more hits, took the lead, maybe got a few extra bases on some of the defensive miscues by our opponent, but you take everything they give you in ranked. God damn it. As soon as we get the lead, we give it right back. At least we have the top of the lineup here, and he's going to be forced into his bullpen. Probably a face of the franchise like Chapman or Classe or Williams coming up here. Yep, Classe. Seeger the other way, because I'm late on the fastball. That'll bring up uh, Sanchez. And Henderson's just been a step behind a couple of those today. I don't know if that's the secondary position penalty or what. All right, so DeGrom's able to get us through six. I think we'll go to our bullpen from there, especially if we hit around towards the bottom of our lineup here. No fucking way. With Jorge Polanco at shortstop. Are you kidding me, dude? Can't dive and get that one, you bastard. Duran, because of course, bringing in Polanco... First pitch, Polanco is just early on it. That's a game tire right there. Now a perfect, perfect liner. Please get in the corner. Yes, that should be a double. Get there, Polanco. Woo, that was close. Dude just rakes, like I said. Do I dare bunt cheese with Buxton? I mean, I just need a run. Aw. Of course, can't bunt with Buxton on two straight strikes. Good placement, though, on the inside corner there. That cut fastball is just so slow. God damn. No! I'm going to lose my shit, dude. That's the third diving play he's had today. Meanwhile, Seeger can't dive more than a foot. He has three straight lefties, so I got a try hater who I have not used before. Just got him yesterday. Finally, there we go. Hater gets us out of a jam. We need to hit. Wondering who he goes after Duran and Class A. I mean,. Is there a third guy that can throw 100 miles an hour that he probably has? Maybe like Chapman or something? Sanchez, we finally are early on the splitter. Man, he's just having a rough time with his fielders still. It's amazing how much he can't field the ball once it's in the outfield, but he makes absolute dimes of a diving play in the infield every single time. 
A fly ball on that shit? On a power swing. Another wall scraper. Please get down. Thank you. Locked into Nelson Cruz. He can't switch his pitcher. 125 power. Actually, he has like 120 something, no matter who's in there, lefty or righty. I'm early on it. God fucking damn it. And again. Save us Khalil Watson against another 100 mile an hour fastball thrower. Fucking 47 points lost. I'm just so frustrated with ranked right now. Like, even that game, I got 10 hits. You grind all this time to get all these players, and for what? Like, all of the plays are either diving, infield, superhuman throws to first and everything, or you just get rewarded for late fastballs or whatever the opposite way for home runs. Like, I, I just don't understand. He had so many wall scrapers the opposite way, and then when I pulled the ball, with the power hitter like you're supposed to, it dies on the warning track or I just don't even fucking know, man. You have to win like three games for every one that you lose for progress. And that's just so frustrating to play competitively like that, especially for games that take 45 minutes. I don't know, man. I'm just, I, I think I'm going to take a break from ranked right now. Like I I've been spending all these time to get these cards and everything. It's just every game seems to go the same way. 14 and 6, and we're not even in the All-Star division right now. I'm just... Uh, yeah, I, I'm taking a break. Franchise still coming out for the Salem Phantoms. Uh, we'll see you whenever I decide to load up Try Hard Tuesday again. See ya.